It was a discovery made almost by accident. Scientists using this radio telescope in Chile and another in Hawaii were looking for something basically to prove it wasn't there. They scanned Venus for phosphine gas to show the planet's limits. Well, it turned out not to have the limits scientists thought it had. I was just stunned. I'm, I mean, I did this as an interesting experiment. I, I'd never really thought about detecting it. What they found isn't life. It's a biosignature. It's something usually produced by something living. On Earth, phosphine gas is produced by bacteria in environments with very little oxygen. With Venus, the scientists tried to find another explanation for the phosphine, but had to rule all of them out. Not a single process we looked at could produce phosphine in, in high enough quantities to explain our team's findings of phosphine in the Venus atmosphere. Now, we've sent probes and landers to Venus before. The first one was 60 years ago this past spring. It's our closest neighbor, one planet over, just 143 million kilometers away. Well, the surface of Venus is too hot for anything to live there. It's hot enough to melt lead. But it's believed that billions of years ago, the surface was cooler and wetter and may have had life. As it warmed up, some of that life might have evolved up into the high clouds. 50 or 60 kilometers in the skies over Venus, conditions are still very rough, windy and acidic, but the pressure is similar to Earth's and the temperature's about 30 degrees Celsius. Those are conditions that could sustain life. Now, what would that life look like? Canadian astronomer Nathalie Ouellette says they'd be microbes unlike anything we're used to. Anything that would be life like as we know it on Earth would need to have like a protective shell of, of graphite or, or something that's protecting it from the acid. Ouellette describes herself as cautiously very excited. Finding even some strange microbe on Venus would mean life on another planet and that further out in the galaxy, there's likely even more. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.